Playing golf is a lot like hitting balls. Well, actually, it is. Golf itself actually involves copious amounts of physics. Here's Don Maines, our local golf expert, here to explain. Uh, yeah, name? Uh, Don Maines. Don Maines. All right. Um, just wondering, what do you feel, is, how, how do you feel physics apply to golf? Well, it has a lot to do with it. Centrifugal force is the uh, biggest thing that you're right. counting on to hit the ball with. If it's done properly. Yeah. The, uh, different Thanks. clubs are used for. <laughs> what are they used for? Yeah, we don't really know. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you're different distances. The shorter the club, the shorter the distance you want to hit it. So normally you start out with your one wood, which is the driver, and uh, that's usually your longest shot. And your fairway woods are when you have a long shot to the green, uh, either on a long par 4 or on a par 5. Then you get uh, down to your irons, and uh, you know as the distance decreases, uh, your iron and number goes up, but the length of the club actually goes down, and the pitch of the club increases so that it gets the ball up higher in the air. But you want the ball to set down on the green and stop. You don't want it to run when it hits the green. Okay, and then uh, the, with the golf balls, how are they, like, how do they, what's inside of them? Like, how would that help? Well, uh, there's different balls. Uh, it depends on, uh, you know, individual preference, but the, uh, uh, there's wound balls, which have a rubber winding inside and uh, have a kind of a surlin cover on the outside. Now, those are what they call a soft ball, and a lot of guys use them. They like them for putting or for hitting the ball into the green because they stop a little quicker. And then you have your solid balls, which are like top flights and pinnacles that are uh, solid all the way through. And uh, those are a little more durable than the uh, guys that don't hit the ball quite as well. I kind of like to use those balls because they uh, hold up a little bit better. <laughs> the uh, Titleist, uh, that are the long ball, usually one bad hit on that and that ball's not any good after that. So, and then they have a combination too. They've uh, got some that uh, it's kind of a combination between the two. They're they're always trying something different with them. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm glad to. Uh, if I was any help to you. Yeah. Well, thanks. The clubs are the tools used in the sport. They are used to enhance the distance the ball travels. Golf clubs are made up of different materials and different lengths. Wooded clubs are longer and used for hitting longer during teeing off, known as drivers. Wooden drivers are usually uh, numbered 1 through 5. As the number of clubs increases, so does the angle on the face of the club, but the length de decreases as the number increases. In other words, the larger the number, the more altitude the ball will gain. Higher altitudes are achieved by irons ranked from 2 to 9. The lower the iron, uh, the farther the ball will go. And the higher the iron, the higher the ball will go, but it will have a shorter horizontal displacement. The sand and pitching wedges are designed for chip shots and used when closer to the green or when you need to get out of a deep hole. They have large angle of an elevation or pitch which allows the ball to gain lots of altitude quickly and very little horizontal displacement. The putter has no angle and designed to keep the ball on the ground, traveling across the green in a straight line, aiming for the hole. There are horizontal grooves cut into the club face. These grooves help provide friction and grip the ball during the impact between club and ball. The grooves create backspin on the ball, which helps remain in the air for a longer period of time. The ball itself has many forces acting upon it while in the air, but the big one is gravity. Another factor is air resistance, but when the ball has a backspin on it, it cuts right through the air resistance. Drag is also encountered in the air, but the dimples in the ball counteract it by making the Bernoulli's principle, air faster over the top and slower over the bottom, creating lift to bring the ball to the hole.
the angle at which the ball is hit at is a large part of how far it travels. The best angle when teeing off is 45 degrees. Now, uh, as with all the other golf shots, the ang your angle you need depends on how, where, how far and where you want the ball to land. The force of the club acting on the ball is a little tougher to compute. If you were to use the club like a pool cue, the force would be easier to compute because the force would be applied in a straight line. You would simply use F equals MA. However, the force is being applied in a circle. This requires you to use the much more complicated centrifugal force equation, which is F equals M times V squared, all divided by R, where M is the mass of the object, V is the velocity you are moving, and R is the radius of the circle you are applying the force in. Ready? Whoa! Oh, close! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to want it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! I had that one. There's where I was aiming. Yep. Well, at least I can hit straight, just not very far, <laughs> or the ball. <laughs> You go to the right and you throw <laughs> through! Oh. Jesus, Kurt. Hold on. I just had to warm up. Oh. Alright, I got this one. <laughs> you can hit balls now. What? <laughs> I like, I like, went like that and like... <laughs> I got your thrust! I got the hip thrust. Oh yeah! <laughs> and uh that's about it I think <laughs> anybody else got a question Kyle, you lying bastard. Oh my god. <laughs>